Monikia, and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. Today is Friday, yay! March the 31st, 2023, the last day of the month. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Before we do, I want to remind you that you, if you're watching this on Lanikia TV, I will no longer be doing the reviews and recaps on Lanikia TV. They will all be going back over to Lanikia only. Um, oh, so just look at the, you know, at the channel to see which one you're watching anyways on a scale of one to ten you know what i'm gonna have to give this one an eight it was solid to me we start off with nina carly and willow so nina is there with willow and she's like are you okay are you okay and then carly comes in and she's like what are you doing here nina and nina's like first of all i was dropping some district deception um goodies you know care package or whatever off at the door I didn't even, I wasn't even trying to come inside. I wasn't trying to knock. I just wanted to drop it off at the door. And she said, Willow heard me and she told me to come in. I saw that she wasn't feeling well. So I just wanted to know, do I need to take you to the hospital? And so Carly is like, well, I'm here now. Cause Willow's like, I was just waiting on Michael and them to come back. Michael and Wiley to come back so we can start watching the nurses ball. They can, you know, and get the snacks and all that. They're going to have a family event. And Carly's like, I'm here now, so Nina, you can leave. And Nina says, I think Willow need to make that decision. And so Willow doesn't make that decision. Y'all all know Willow and Nina going to end up having a relationship. This is how, I say relationship. <laughs> relationship. This is how they all start off where it's mother and daughter, can't stand each other. And then by the end, they're Sam and Alexis. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're Bobby and Carly. And it's just like, Carly, chill out. And so she's just, she keeps trying to pressure Nina to leave. But Willow is not saying for Nina to leave. What Willow does say is, oh, you know what? I need to go and prep for the snacks. And, and you know, Carly's like, I could do that for you. And she said, no, it won't take that long. I'm just going to start. And then Michael and Wally can finish. And so she gets up and leaves. So then um, Carly and Nina are by their cell, uh, are alone. And first of all, I don't know what they've done differently to nina's hair or whatever or her makeup but mommy is looking refreshed <laughs> she looks good um so anyways she's she's getting ready to leave she says i have to go to the nurse's ball so i'm gonna just go tell willow goodbye and then um and then i'm gonna go she said it's a shame that donna doesn't get to see sunny so once she says that carly starts talking about well donna's used to this and and nina's like well it's a shame that she has to be used to that and everything um and so then carly starts talking to nina and about sunny and how you know that's his lifestyle you gotta get used to it and and everything and nina's just like hey for what willow's sake can't we just put a truce like let's wave the white flag let's not do this for um willow's sake and carly is just like carly continues to take shots i know y'all like carly sometimes i like carly too but on but honestly you have drew now so why do you care <laughs> like why do you that's my whole that's my only thing you have drew now so i would not care nothing about nina and what she doing over there with son but carly continues to take shots at nina and then she tells her you know you thought you could you could just keep Mike and Nixon fall. You thought you could keep, um, stay out of Sonny's business here. And I can see it in your eyes that you, you know, you're trying to hide, but what he has going on is something you don't really agree with. And you need to decide whether you want to be with Sonny or not, if you want to be in this lifestyle. And Nina said, Carly, our relationship is different. And that's what, what we have is what appeals to Sonny. So they going back and forth at each other. And then Willow comes back and she said, y'all are right in here and they were like yeah 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 everything's all good and uh nina says i was just telling um saying that i needed to say goodbye because i have to go and prepare for the nurses ball um but she tells willow how are you and willow says she's scared she's afraid that the bone marrow might not transplant might not work because it's tomorrow um so she's afraid of what might happen and nina says if it's based on will carly and i have enough for both of you so don't you know don't worry about it um you'll be everything is going to work out fine and so you know it was a nice moment that the in the end and carly was like yeah um you're right and so that was it y'all so then we go over here to um esme and ava and ava is just telling esme um you know because esme is like i i remember you you and ava's like yeah your parents you know came to my place that night and she was like 
and and Ava tells her, and you have a baby by my husband, my ex husband. And as my see, this is what Spencer said something that was very true. You might not have your memory, Esme, but you still got that Esme personality. And I wanted to like the new Esme because I was liking her at first. But she makes little remarks that make you go, hmm. And so she's telling Ava, um, because Ava said, you slept with my husband and had a baby. And she said, "Um, from what I, I thought it was ex-husband. And she said, oh, I thought you were the new Esme because Esme is trying to be like, um, she talks about herself in third person. Like, I don't remember what that Esme did and all that. But when she made that little remark, Ava was like, I thought you was um, trying to be the new Esme. And she was like, I just, it's so hard. Um, Spencer doesn't trust me. And I said, why you always bring Spencer up into this? Spencer doesn't trust me and just having someone, you know, that's always looking over their shoulder or paranoid about you or uh, never letting you forget your past mistakes. But I'm sure you've never had to live like that. And so Ava just tells her, I know the real Esme and I'm going to just be watching and waiting to see if that Esme comes back. And if she does, we're going to handle up on her. And so then Austin comes, he gives her the different formulas and everything that she needs for Ace. And um, she goes about her day and Austin says, do you believe that people can change? And she said, baby, I'm having to, we're having to lie. Like I lied to the commissioner's uh, wife, Felicia, because she keeps asking me, why are you there? Why are you there? Why was Austin there? And she said, so the only excuse I have is, do you have a um, tuxedo? And so I guess he's going to be her date. And so they're going to act like, I guess he was there because they got a thing going on. Me and Mrs. Jones got it. Okay, let's move on. So then we see um, Sonny. Remember Sonny and Drew had went over there to Anna and um, Valentine. And they had went over there to them. And now they he's letting her, them know that Ashby is dead. And 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 he's like, I gotta, I'm going to get you on another safe house. But you're going to have to trust me. Um, you can't, cause they were like, we got to leave. And Valentine is like, we got to leave now. And, and Sonny says, you can't leave now. We don't have protection for you. So you got to stay here and get a safe house. Now this is thinking that nobody has seen them. And so Sonny says, after Drew and I leave, no more visitors, none. And they were like, yeah, you're right. It's too dangerous. So everyone is like uh, in agreement on this and Sonny lets Anna know like Luke was my friend and they were friends y'all those were the days back in the day but they were friends and he says Luke was my friend and what Victor did to him he's going to pay and they said um maybe Spencer can tell us Victor's location because they know he's went missing and they said if Victor hasn't gotten to him but Sonny's like Spencer's a good kid with a good head on his shoulders he's been through a lot he'll give it up and so then we see after Sonny and Drew leave, Valentine and Anna, she just feels so guilty because she said, I got Lucy into this. And look what he did to Lucy. And I, Eileen, uh, you know, I got her killed. This is my fault. And Valentine is like, no, it's not. Um, Because Eileen, you know, pretty much signed her death certificate as soon as she got involved with Victor in the first place. So that's not, you know, we tried to give her a way out, but she wanted to do too much. And he said, and Lucy, just a loose cannon. And you, know, you can't predict that. He said, so don't blame yourself. And she said, this is my fault. And Victor has to be taken down. And he was like, I said, well, what y'all going to do it? Because Victor winning. From what I can see, Victor is winning. So Chong. Maxie is getting um uh, interviewed by George, the reporter, and he's asking her about the nurses ball and everything is going fine until he says, what about that dropout from the, the men who's dancing? And she said, what are you talking about? Maxie didn't know what he was talking about. At first, she thought he was talking about somebody else. And she said, Dex is taking their place. He said, no, the, uh, what about the other one? And so now Lucy all, oh my God, because she's watching it on TV, the um live pre-show. And so Felicia goes over. And she talks to Maxie and Maxie's just stressed to the max. She's like, oh my gosh, this is, this is a lot of pressure. But, and Felicia said, but you're doing a great job and Lucy would be proud of you. Um, for, proud of everything you're doing. She was like, I know. So then we see, um, Lucy who's in her hole at the safe house. talking about, I need to go. 
Yes, I'm the only one who could save this. My The nurse's ball is falling down. It's going to the wayside. It's horrible. I got to go fix it. I said, no, you don't, girl. Stay where you are. So then anyway, she calls a car. And I said, Lucy. She calls a car and tells them to put it on Deception's bill and she, to meet her. And she gives the intersection. I said, Lucy, what's wrong with you? And so then the next thing you know, she's at the nurse's ball um bothering maxi now as they're talking and everything there's a gentleman that comes up right and when he comes up they he tells them he's walking on a cane he was like i wanted to use the patio and they said oh go um ma she tell felicia comes down at this time and she says mom can you help this gentleman and she says okay yeah now while felicia is helping the gentleman at um at some point she gets a call from anna letting her know their spot has been blown up and they can't come visit let laura know let robert know let everyone know so then um we go back to maxi and lucy and she says lucy why is this so important and lucy says because it's the one time people take her seriously she knows how people feel about her and what they think about her and that's why it's so important to her so maxi says okay we're gonna make this happen but baby she said ask mac to dance and i said yeah because under that suit mac got a little body yada 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 y'all saw him this summer when he had on his little box when he had on his boxers in the pool and stuff mac still fine uh and so maxi said that is my stepdad <laughs> i said girl stepdad or not matt fine and she said lucy i don't want to hear that but anyway she said i i have a perfect um i know who i'm gonna get to do it so she tells lucy to go or whatever and so then we see victor with nicholas and uh, spencer not nicholas so we see victor with spencer and he tells him i need you to do whatever you do, gotta do because Esme is being less than cooperative. I can't have this going to trial because she could win. And if they don't try her, if they don't get evidence, you know, all this could come into play. So I need you to do what you got to do so we can get baby Ace away. And Victor's like, I got it, but I'm going to need you to, you know, Spencer's like, I owe you one. And later on, Victor's like, yeah, I'm going to make him pay for that too. So Spencer goes to pick up Esme and she's like, where have you been? We were waiting on you and everything. I said, girl, you, f I mean, I understand she was upset, but sometimes she she said what is more important than your brother i said that's not his baby that's his brother you know what i mean i'm sorry like they are acting like this child is spencer's child um you are not the mother of his child that is his bro you are the mother of his brother y'all like it's weird it's giving off weird vibes but okay so then um we see spencer we see spencer and esme leave and then victor is there and Victor is leaving and Spencer kind of figured that out because he said, why are we not meeting at the Metro court and all this? But Victor is trying to leave town. And then the, the, the security guard says, so what about this custody battle? He said, my nephew worried about something that's not going to even happen. Um, I think Victor is going to try to, I think Victor is going to kidnap baby Ace. He says, but I need to play along and, and lie to the lad so that he, is in my pocket and does me does what i want him to do i said oh lord you finna keep that baby ace and spencer gonna be sick when he realizes this so anyways the next thing you know the man that they had talked to earlier um that felicia showed to the metro court restaurant he all stops walking with his cat in front of everybody i said oh, oh really okay sir and he calls victor and he says guess who i just saw lucy cope he said, you know, you had me following Felicia, but I saw Lucy Cole or whatever. And he said, and it looks like she got into a black luxury SUV. And so Victor said, oh, I got him. Thank you. And so I said, see, Lucy, this is what they be talking about, girl. This is what they were talking about. But anyways, guys, that was the um, general hospital for the week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It is the weekend. Be safe. Be blessed. Go out and enjoy yourselves if you can. And I will see you Monday on Lanikia's channel, not Lanikia TV, on Lanikia's channel for all new episodes of What Happened on the Soaps, uh, the General, General Hospital Edition. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.